All right, what if I tell you that you can transform your videos from this to this with less than $500? My whole studio setup is now 99% made out of Field World products. If you're new to this channel, they have been supporting me for the last few years of my career. And being able to give back as well as use their product within my everyday life to create these silly internet videos and client work, it's just great. I've definitely came a long way when it comes to studio setups. I mean, look at the numbers of videos I've shared. I literally try to shoot every single angle of this house or any house I've lived in, and I feel like I finally found the one that I love the most. The thing that makes a great studio setup is definitely friction. I personally struggle a lot with motivation, and sometimes if I have to think that I have to set up my whole studio, I might just take a nap instead. So having a system that works where everything is already in place, or most of it at least, so that the setup part only takes a few minutes is definitely a huge one for me. So let's run down all the gear that I'm using. Obviously the $500 did not include the camera, and I guess that was pretty self-explanatory. My main key light is the Fieldward FL125D. I choose this one as my studio setup as I always just shoot during daylight and I want that daylight look. So I don't have the need of a bicolor one. Although I own one, this is my light of choice as I'm always just shooting next to a bright open window, as you can see. And I want to enhance that window light, but just make it look way better. I have a parabolic softbox on top with a grid to just make sure that the light hits me perfectly and it doesn't spill anywhere else. And all of this, it's on top of a classic C stand. Moving on to audio, which is an absolute game changer. This is the Philword PM1 microphone and boom arm. The USB-C microphone allows me to simply plug into my MacBook, open DaVinci Resolve, as you can see right here, and just start recording. It sounds amazing, it's easy, and to be honest, it's just one less SD card to care about. Before I had a super complicated system with a sound recorder that just made, just didn't make any sense, so this, does make sense. Quick tip for this one, try and keep it as close to your mouth as possible because it sounds so much better when you actually have it super close to your mouth. I try to stay in a distance that the lens doesn't make it look like I'm just like whispering to the microphone, but it does sound better. So the closer to your mouth, the better. The next one up is a tricky one. I actually never used one of those before and I think it actually changed my whole workflow. See, I like to script my videos and I like to pre-write everything I will say in each video. Especially in tutorial videos, it's very important to me to come across exactly the way I script myself to. And this is kind of hard sometimes. I forget things, I have to read them back again, and it just makes the whole process even more annoying than it actually should be, right? I don't want to try and shoot a video and then keep forgetting things because my mindset is not there. Sometime, you know, sometimes I just want to read a script like I'm doing right now. I'm literally reading what I wrote. And this is thanks to the Fluor TP10. This teleprompter is a game changer. I can simply have my phone just laid out here and I'm reading what my script said. It doesn't affect anything. The only thing is that I can't use my scene lenses because my lighter autofocus obviously would be covered by the teleprompter but right now i'm shooting on a normal 16 to 35 g master lens so you know autofocus so it doesn't really matter and it makes my life so much easier especially when i want to come across exactly the way i wrote myself in the script so that's pretty much it i put my camera on a tripod i put up the teleprompter just bring up this arm here, turn on the light, and I'm pretty much ready to go. I like to add a couple of lights in the background. As you can see, one is right behind me and one is up there, just to create a bit of color contrast between the daylight temperature of this light and obviously the window. So this generic RGB light just add a touch of depth within the shot. But it's kind of crazy, like everything I mentioned in this video from Phil Word, it's less than $500 and it will get you to an amazing quality, an amazing studio quality from beginner to pro. So everything is linked down below. Thanks guys for sticking around until here and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.